you solve this problem by modifying it to a single carrier FDMB. So now we want to understand what is meant by the single carrier SDMB and what is the difference between FDMB and single carrier FDMB. Okay, as you know, for uplink, the only component they need to add into the transmitter or in the receiver is the DFT, discrete for the transport. Here, the LTE, of course, still they provide this modulation for uplink. Because uplink from user, you can see, depend on the category of your UE. You have five categories. Okay, and then uh, I think only category 5 or UE can support all. Category 1 to category 4, they only up to 64. Downlink, of course, it will support up to 64 volt. DFT is applied here. The PCGST is applied before you go to the subcarrier BP. Because here is just to transform it into the frequency domain. Okay, okay so. So subcarrier mapping allows flexible allocation of signal to subcarrier, which means in the OLDM, every subcarrier was simple. So uh, in, in OLDM, every subcarrier is one symbol, but in the single carrier FDMB, uh, subcarrier can contain many symbols, but they spread out over a the number of sub carrier that's why they call a single carrier right so to with this they can overcome the effect of big big api okay so those are why they, uh, so sub carrier mapping and flexible allocation above uh, to an available sub carrier so but they still have IFT and so they still have a satellite profit in insertion there to overcome the intersymbol interference effects. So each subcarrier carry only a portion of the symbols. Huh? That's why we call it, sometimes we call this as pre-coded OFDM. That's why you, you before you put, you use OFDM, you, you do a pre-coding to spread out the symbol into different subcarrier. This is the difference. Uh, you will see that the single carrier only add this, add the transmitter and add the